Hi everybody, my name is Sunil Parekh. I am an international success coach and a mind power expert and I help people live happier, healthier and more successful lives. Today we are going to talk about a very very important topic and that is learning how to let go. Now what happens is you know a lot of life experiences happen to us in which we are not happy. You know, sometimes people cheat us, sometimes people take advantage of us, they do wrong things to us and sometimes we ourselves do things for which we are not able to forgive ourselves. So what happens is we hold grudges, we are, you know, somehow feeling guilty, we feel shameful, uh, we feel revengeful. These are all things that happen if the experiences that have happened have not been good ones. Now the only way to deal with these is to learn how to let go and one of the easiest ways to let go is to learn how to forgive. Now why is forgiveness important? Generally people will come and tell me sir you know they did such bad things to me, they've ruined my life, they've actually you know created so many challenges for me in my life, how can I forgive, how can I forget, how can I forgive? But the question to ask yourself is that when you don't forgive who's the one who's suffering? Is it the person who has done the wrong thing to you or is it you who is suffering? So the first rule of forgiveness or the first reason why we must forgive is to set ourselves free. Because forgiveness is not for the other person, forgiveness is for ourselves. And when we forgive, we are able to set ourselves free from that painful event and move forward in life. Now if, what happens if you don't forgive? See when you don't forgive you keep on paying attention to that event in your mind. You know knowingly, unknowingly we are holding that event in our mind. And as a result what happens is we attract similar events into our life. So if we don't forgive somehow similar events keep happening in our life trying to teach us a lesson that let it go, let it go. But unfortunately we don't let go and we see that similar instances keep happening all the time. Like for example, you know many people say that it's not one person who's cheated me sir, it's many many people who have come and cheated me. Now the reason for that is the very first time it happened we have not forgiven the person and we are holding that grudge in our mind. And that is why we keep on attracting similar situations into our life and nothing ever changes in our life. So first rule of forgiveness, so the first reason why we must forgive is that forgiveness is to set ourselves free. It is not for the other person, it is for us. The second uh, point about and which is very important about forgiveness is that when you're forgiving, you're not forgiving the act. The person may have done something really wrong to you. Uh, that is not something we are forgiving. We are forgiving only the person. And the reason we must forgive the person is that when people do things, they always think they are doing the right thing. You know, unfortunately people always think and in, in fact it is true that whatever people do, they are always trying to do their best based on what they know at that point of time. So as per their understanding, they are doing the right thing. So and, and their understanding at that point was limited and that is why they did that to you. So people always try to do their best and from that point of view, we should just let it go. But remember we are not forgiving the act, if they have done something wrong you can, you might as well you know take legal action, do whatever but don't keep it in your heart because if you keep it in your heart it's going to hurt you not the other person. The third thing about forgiveness is that forgiveness does not make you a weak person. Even Mahatma Gandhi said that the weak can never forgive. It is, it takes courage to forgive, it is only the strong who can forgive. So it doesn't make you a weak person. Now sometimes people say if I forgive the person then people will think that you know I am letting things go, I am a weak person. That's not true. Forgiveness, you know weak people can never forgive. It's only the strong, only the courageous who can forgive. And that is why we must let go and uh, you know uh, make sure that we are able to live a happier, healthier life. And the fourth thing is until we don't forgive there is no question of love coming into our life. Because the more grudges we hold here the more we are not able to enjoy our life, the more we are not able to allow, you know, love to come into our life. And as a result, we see that, you know, life is not so happy. You know, we, when we are hurting ourselves over here, we see all kinds of challenges, you know, physical problems, mental problems and we are not able to live our lives beautifully. So we are coming to the end of the year and this is probably the best time to clean up some accounting. Uh, you know, take this moment to make a list of all those people that you wish to forgive. Go ahead and release them and let them be happy and let you also be happy. One prayer that you can do every single day is to seek forgiveness from God. 
you know, tell God that, dear God, I'm really sorry for what I have done. You know, and if I have hurt anyone knowingly or unknowingly, directly or indirectly, in this life or any of my past lives, please forgive me. If I have hurt anyone through my thoughts, words and deeds, please forgive me and release me from that pain. You know, God has the grace and he always, you know, passes on his grace to, um, you know, us. So seek forgiveness and see that you can live an amazing life. Uh, do this today and practice this every single day. When you wake up in the morning, after doing a gratitude, do two minutes of forgiveness. Forgive everybody and also seek forgiveness from God. Because remember that anything that's happening in your life right now is a result of what we have done in the past, knowingly or unknowingly. So why not just seek forgiveness from God every day and live a happy life? Okay, thank you. Wish you all the best and have a great day.